What's going on, YouTube? R to the double E dash of the Z O N coming at you once again, man. I'm just making a video. Uh, it's been a while, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the channel's still going, still doing its thing, bro. But uh, I, I just felt like uh, uh, I, I wanted to get on here and uh, just make a video uh, about something that I've, I've, I've talked about a lot in, in happenstance and just in subliminal type, you know, stuff. Uh, on, on different topics, when I've been talking about this, that, or the other, video games, movies, whatever, and I've hinted at this, but I've never really made a video on it. Uh, so this is going to be a, a different video as far as uh, the content the channel is usually used to getting. You know, it's u it's usually a lot of video game stuff because that's what we do. Uh, but, you know, I've talked about this, you know, here and there, you know, subliminally, like I said, uh, in different uh, videos and different topics. Uh, and it was, it, it, it's why uh, the, the, the topic basically is, why things were so much better at a different point in time than we're in right now. I was saying so. the 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 topic of the video for me is why things were better in the nineties, the nineties, and the early two thousands. I'm talking about like two thousand and four is like the cutoff. Anything past that to me was just like uh, garbage. You know what I'm saying for everything. But you know, it, you know. As, as you're growing up and as you are experiencing life, uh, the things that matter to you are, you know, I mean, I mean I'm, t I'm talking about as a child, you know, or as, as a youth, you know what I'm saying? You're not really thinking about the political ramifications of anything and whatnot, you know, you're not thinking about politics and all that, you know what I'm saying? That's a different story to a certain degree, but it's kind of the same, but either way, um, but you know, as, as you're growing up as a kid, like you, you look at things and it's like, what is the biggest influence? What What is the biggest thing in your world at that time? Like for me, if I go back and I'm like, yo, when I was a kid, when I was a, a preteen going into being a teenager, you know what I'm saying? In the nineties, bro, what, what, what was the biggest thing for me? It was bro, what was I watching? You know, what What was getting my attention back then? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what was, what was like, you're like, and it's, okay, I'll, I'll say this, and then most, uh, uh, you know, millennials or, 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 you know, younger millennials and uh, Zoomers or whatever the fuck you call the generation that came after us, I really don't care. It's not a disrespect to them. It's just like, I don't care because I didn't never give a shit about the title for my generation. It was just like, this was the time, of this, this was the time and space that I lived in and I enjoyed it and I saw what made me, uh, you know, and so there's this new time and space and this is what makes you guys, you know, the younger generation and uh, the need for labels. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I get it if you want to classify it, but it just, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't give a shit. Millennials, whatever, because, because I don't see myself as a millennial. When I look at the 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 things that millennials are uh, enamored with, and the things that that really make them tick, uh, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a millennial because I just missed the generation title before me, as far as dates go. So that's why I'm like, ah, the, the, classific the classification shit. Fine, if you got to do it, do it. I don't care. Uh, but you know, like when I was younger, bro, like. It was all about, bro, when I, when I was a kid, you know, getting ready to be a teenager and getting ready into that young adult phase, getting to that point, man, it was, like, you went to school, you dealt with all the shit, you know what I'm saying, like, you dealt with your peers, you know what I'm saying, and bullies, or if you were the bully, whatever, you know, if you were, I hope you fucking learned your lesson, that, that, that's horrible, I, like, I don't wish that shit on anybody, but I was bullied, and I had to beat the fuck up out of a, a, a couple of bullies. I, I did, you know. It, it is what it is. But it, it was, it wasn't that. It was, it was that time frame, and it was like when that time frame was going on when I was that young, uh, dude. It was like yo coming home and seeing uh, the, the 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 programming on TV, the cartoons, and you know the shit that the shit that we watched. You know what I'm saying? 
Bro, back then it was Ninja Turtles, it was Power Rangers, it was Gargoyles. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was it was Disney when Disney was Disney, not today. Uh, you know, so it was that as far as shows, you know, programming was going on, and it was epic, bro. Like, dude, like you were you were like if you if you're anywhere near my age, you were coming off the '80s. Watching the Ninja Turtles and into the nineties and still watching the Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles were the shit, dude. That's why they, they still keep making movies about these motherfuckers because they're badass, dude. And my thoughts on the new movie that just came out about a year or so ago, um, notwithstanding, because I thought the movie was decent. I enjoyed it, but it was it it, it you know it was garbage compared to what they were. You know, to how we knew them, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that discussion later. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was the programming. is what we were seeing, bro. Like, like I was getting home after school, and I was watching the Ninja Turtles and Gargoyles and Power Rangers, you know. And, and that was, you know, as the years went on, you know, uh, because uh, the Turtles were number one. And then after the Turtles started to phase out, it was the Power Rangers. And in the midst of the Power Rangers coming up, then Gargoyles came up right there. You know what I'm saying? But then it wasn't just cartoons or, or your shows like that. It was like, it was the programming that was on, man. Like, I, like, I remember, like, dude, one of the best memories of, of my life, man, as, as a youth, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing 40, dude. I'm going to be 40 in less than, what is it now? Two weeks. In February, I'm going to be 40. I remember, bro, like, Seeing shows like Family Matters, you know what I'm saying? Hanging with Mr. Cooper, step by step, you know what I'm saying? Shows like that, bro. Uh, step by, uh, did I say step by step? I did. I think it's step by step. Hanging with Mr. Cooper, uh, Family Matters, all of them. That was that was TGIF, nigga. That 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 was TGIF. That was thank God it's Friday. That's what it was, bro. Every Friday, bro, you had an entire uh. TV network dedicated to family programming. And it was so dedicated to it back then that it was like, yo, every Friday, starting at 8 o'clock, from 8 till 10 or 10.30, whatever it was, we're going to have four of the most entertaining but also wholesome shows we can have for families like my family and countless other families came from the 90s to gather up together order some pizza make some popcorn sit around the fucking couch bro and just watch these shows man family matters dude urkel come on now the all-time goat that 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 that, 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 that is the greatest character tv has ever produced Step by step, hanging with Scooper, all this shit, bro. Like, it, like it, it was, it was amazing, bro. And 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 it wasn't just like that. It was family programming. It was, it was done at a time when, how can I say, it? like mental programming wasn't, because uh, it always was, but it wasn't the key part of these networks' design. They didn't care because they were making money. But they put on, at that time, real quality programming that was like, yo, it, it's funny, it's entertaining, you laugh, you enjoy it, but it also taught a lesson. Every episode, every show, every sitcom back then taught a lesson. Taught you about life. Taught you about what you as young people, you know, me personally at that time I was like bro nine or ten like I was getting ready to go into my preteen years it taught us this is the world you're gonna be dealing with when you get to that point this is how you navigate it and this is how you don't lose yourself and this is how you keep family centered focus number one priority like that 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 was epic for me bro like family matters and all these shows Step by step was amazing. Like, dude, it, it, they were great, bro. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it was the shows. Like that, that was that was the programming side of it. And it was like, yo, like, okay. Then the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the '90s, man. I like, like again, I'm I'm pushing forty, bro. 
I'm pushing 40 and I'm like, I'm looking back and I'm like, every time I go on TikTok or I go on Instagram or whatever and, and see the reels or the, you know, little videos that they put and I see like, yo, a flashback to the 90s and they're playing all this music, bro. And I'm just like, yo, bro, that shit was hard, bro. Like back in the 90s, bro, like music was fun. It was fun, bro. You could dance to it. You could vibe to it, bro. Like, it was like, like, it, like, the artists back then, whatever genre, whether it was hip hop, whether it was freestyle, whether, whether it was, uh, you know, pop, whatever, they made it fun. They really put the time into their music to communicate something that was like, yo, like, this is an escape from the bullshit you go through on everyday life. It, it, it's gonna be fun. You're gonna hear this, and you're gonna want to get up and just, hey, hey, you know, like, yo, just go, go for it, bro. Like, it, it was fun, man. You don't have that shit today, bro. Like, music today. Be honest with yourselves, man. Even, even, even if any, if any people see this video that are younger, bro, that they're like, you know, like, you know, in their teens today. And, and and what they've been hearing is what they know as music. Be honest with yourselves. You hear this shit? Does it create fun, feel-good vibes, bro? Like, fuck all the bullshit, the political shit, the, 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 the yo, I'm not having a good day shit. Like, my family's not doing good right now. Like, we're struggling, whatever. But when that shit came on, it, was, it wasn't just... It, it wasn't trap music. It wasn't mumble rap. No, it was like, yo, it was bumping beats and high energy and fun. And you were just like, yo, yo, hey, I'm here, dude. That was the 90s, bro. That was the 90s. You go to hip hop. Shit. Dude, In uh, hip hop came in, if I'm not mistaken, in the in the, in the 70s. Like, like, legitimately came in in the 70s. And then the '80s carried that shit to a certain level. I'll never disrespect them. They, they they carried it to a certain level, but in the in the late '80s and especially early '90s and throughout the '90s, that was the golden age where this this musical art form was like, yo, these dudes got something to say. These dudes or these girls, whoever it is rapping, they got something to say. It's a message. It needs to be heard, but they did it with skill they did it with delivery they did it with eloquence they did it with rhythm they could write a beat they they complimented the the the, the melodic tunes of the beat that they were rapping on perfectly to while they were rapping it was boom boom right there writing with the beat bro today what 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 the fuck is that like today what do you get I'm telling you, bro, the 90s was a shit, bro. The 90s brought us Biggie and Pac, two of the biggest, if not the two biggest hip-hop legends of all time, bro. And 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 I say two of the biggest, like some people say two of the biggest ever. I'm like, yo, bro, Biggie was my dude. Biggie was my, like, dude, that was, that was the illest lyricist I ever heard in my life. But that goes in tune with, Yo, I was listening to him when I was coming up. I was hearing him. He was the shit. But then there's Rakim from the fucking 80s coming into the 90s. Never got the attention he deserved. Listen to this motherfucker rap today. Bro, we're in 2024 right now. You can go back as recently as 2020 going into 2021, New Year's Eve. Look it up on YouTube. That nigga just rapped at a New Year's, a New Year's party over... Beats from all the songs you know and just rode the beat and lyrics left and right, bro. It was legendary. <laughs> Excuse me. That is that that's the shit I'm talking about. We don't get that today, bro. Today in 2024, or in the 2020s, really, and it started before that. It was like in the 2010s going forward. We get artists that are just Making music the way that will make them money. I'm not hating on you. Get your money. But that was it. That you're literally fucking up music. M music is supposed to fucking make people feel good. 
is supposed to unite people. It's supposed to, you know, invoke a sense of like rhythm and just like, yeah, bro, we're all here for it. Ain't nobody here for the shit that's coming out right now except these young kids because they don't know better. It ain't even their fault. It's not their fault. How many of these kids today, bro, if you go right now, if you go right now and go on YouTube and you look up teenagers react to Michael Jackson, teenagers react to Bone Thugs and Harmony, teenagers react to Biggie, teenagers react to Tupac. Their fucking mind is blown. Every time you watch those reactions, they're like, holy shit, oh my God. Oh. Bro, you got some of them saying, like, bro, we were born in the wrong decade. That's the point, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then and then and then don't let me get on the fashion. Bro. Jesus Christ. I was born in the early 80s. So by the time I was cognitive enough to have memories, it was the late 80s. It was like, you know, 88, 89, around there. But I can also go back and look, bro. Fashion in the 80s was off the chain. The shit was fucking fun, bro. The colors and the vibrancy, and they would they didn't give a fuck. They were just like, yeah, hey, we're wild out, bro. We're going crazy, bro. In the 90s, we took that same style. We took that same spirit. And we streamlined it a bit, bro. Like the dudes were with with, with the baggy loose fit jeans, bro. And 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 and, and the baggy you know, jackets, shirts, sweaters, whatever. But everything in the 90s was like, yo, if my shoes got predominantly red colors on them, there's going to be some red in my shirt. There's going to be some red in my hat. There's going to be some red in the tails of the do-rag that I let fly out the back pocket. You know what I'm saying? The shit was cohesive, bro. It was nice. It was elegant, bro. It was, it was smooth. It was streamlined. Streamline, bro. Today it's like I seen videos, bro, with 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 rappers, dudes. I would assume, I would assume I say that because when I hear them rapping, they're very high pitched voice. They sound like that. And and motherfuckers are wearing dresses. And I'm like wondering, like, yo, is there a tampon shoved up your ass? Like, what's going on? Like that shit ain't cool, dude. That shit ain't cool, and and, and it's like you, you you get a certain population of the youth today vibing with that shit, because every artist that comes out in the mainstream is an instrument of of of, of corralling the youth, and they corral them and they get them like 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 you know like. Like like sheep, you know, you corral the sheep. You got the you got the sheep dogs to come out and get them, you know, in line. It's like, yeah, you got some of them, but motherfucker, dude, like, there's motherfucker, like, like my sons today, dude. They're young. They like some of this dumb shit, dude. But I shown them some of these videos, and if I haven't shown it to them, they've seen it before. I try to show it to them, and and they, they're like, nah, yeah, dad, nah. Nah, that, 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 that's not, I'm not good with that. These motherfuckers are wearing dresses. All that to say, bro, like, when I look back, bro, and, it, and, and it's, you know, like, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, it's because you're from that time, so that's why you're saying that. And it's like, no, bro, no, no, because I can say, even though I can say that, the 90s was the best time for video games, let's say. Well, statistically, it was, you know, as far as like we had the biggest jump in graphical power we've ever had in the video game industry during the 90s. From 93, 94 to like 96, 97, 98, we went from 2D to 3D. That's huge. I can still say. The 90s were the best time for games because of that. But I can still look at games today. And by and large, I'm like, yeah, we were better off back then because y'all motherfuckers trying to rob us, like releasing fucking, you know, incomplete games and having us download the patch and all that shit. Like, 
but there's a lot of games today and a lot of systems today that that give us an experience we never could have had back then. So I can get with that. But if you're talking music, if you're talking games, if you're talking fashion, if you're talking about the overall quality of life, bro, like, dude, like, I there was nothing that, 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 bro, I could be going through drama at school, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing. Kids today, drama is like, oh my God, is it really drama? Yeah, it's probably not. Like, I was like, yo, like, I was dealing with drama, like, yo, like, this kid wants to beat my ass. I know I'm going to go to class and I'm going to see him and it's going to be some shit. You're going to have to fight. And if it happens, it is what it is. I was always looking forward to coming home Friday at the end of a, work, uh, a school week. TGIF. Where my stepdad would order pizza and me, him, my mom, and my sister, and sisters later on when my youngest was my youngest sister was born, would sit down and watch TGIF together. The shit was good, man. It was good. You don't have that shit today. And and the whole point of this video is not to shit on the current generation. It's not to shit on the current times, bro. You they do you do what you can with the times you are given. That's the bottom line. There's a lot of kids, there's there's a lot of youth today that are like, yo, like, they're not with all this bullshit, but they're like, yo, like, the bullshit is what they're living in. So they're like, yo, we got to make do with what we got. I'm with that. I'm just saying, I look at it, I lived through the 90s, I lived through the 2000s, I lived through the 2010s, and now I'm in the, in the 2020s. Pushing 40, bro. I'm going on four decades, bro. The 90s was the shit, dude. Thank you, please. Bro, dude, how many of y'all don't remember, bro? Like It was like, yo, like, yo, it's Friday's coming up, bro. Or there was a school dance. And the shit was, instead of being held in the, in the cafeteria or whatever, where they would usually hold it, it was held at Hot Wheels. You know what I'm saying? And you go to Hot Wheels or Thunder Wheels, man, and it, that, the, bro, that, 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 that type of purity, bro, that, that, that type of, uh, for lack of a better word, that type of innocence, we're not going to have it again, bro, like, dude, like, I, I'm raising my kids today, and it's like, I talk to them about these things, and, you know, my older, especially, he's like, yo, my younger one too. Like I tell him about the shit. Like, yo, that would that that would have been hot. That shit would have been cool, but they can't really imagine it because that shit would never happen today. Now it's like, yo, your school is taking you on field trips to shit that matters nothing to anyone, and it's like, and you know, we didn't have like. In the nineties, going into the, into the two thousands, we got introduced to the internet. We got introduced into you know all all the ramifications that would come from the internet, social media. Years later, but still, like this is what that led to. We were getting introduced to it, so everything, bro. Movies in the nineties, bro. Jurassic Park, Get the fuck up out of here. You had never seen dinosaurs look that real to this day, nigga. To this day, you can watch Jurassic Park, the original, and still be like, God damn, those dinosaurs look amazing. Because that was the introduction. That and Terminator 2 were the introductions of CGI really being fully implemented in film to create special effects your mind could never have dreamed of at that time. Now in the 2000s, 2020s, your mind can easily think of that. You've seen it a million times. But it's funny how many directors today make movies with CGI that looks shit compared to those movies. It was all better back then, bro. It was all better back then. You know what I'm saying? So this video, it, 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 ha it hasn't been for me to shit on the new generation. It's not, bro. 
the new generation, bro, is our hope, bro. And like, 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 we need to pour into them. Like, my kids, your kids, you know, for those of you watching who ha who are my age or around that age and have kids, you know, like, you want them to succeed, bro. I push for that, dude. But you got to push for that with a little sampling of what came before. Because goddamn, dude. Like, look at every, like, dude, straight up, just look. Like, everything we talked about in this video, I'm just lay it down, right? Music, games, fashion, sports. We didn't even talk about sports. Jesus Christ, the Dallas Cowboys in the 90s, the Chicago Bulls. Bro, when both football and basketball were actually contact sports uh, today, they're like, <laughs> foul, flagrant. Kick him out the game. He blew on him. He sneezed on him. No, can't have that. Like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, dude, we, like everything, sports, media, programming, music, movies, all of it, video games, all of it, better in the nineties, dude. So I, I like, I, I honestly think us as a civilization, we peaked in the nineties. That does not mean. That the, the advancements in, in technology that we're, we're having right now and that we've been having since are not going to go higher and higher. Yeah, they're going higher to a fucking dangerous level right now. But the time where everything was good and everything was, even with the increases, was out of balance. It was the 90s, bro. It was the fucking 90s, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's all I wanted to say, bro. That's my video, man. Uh, I like because I, like, I have talked about this a lot in passing, different videos. I mentioned it, whatever the '90s, this that, bro. The '90s was a shit, bro. The '90s was a shit, bro. I swear to God, bro. As much as I love my wife, and I love my kids, bro. Like I, I, I will never sacrifice them. So obviously, I would never do it. But bro, in a hypothetical world, bro, there is a chance. If you if you gave me the opportunity to to have twenty four hours, nah, let me rephrase that. If you told me I had the opportunity to have a full week in the nineties back, I can go back to a full week in the nineties by giving up a full week of my life expectancy. I would do it in a heartbeat. I would do it in a heartbeat. Because this shit today, bro, like, this is, you know, it, 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 it's it's cool because, you know, like, now, like, I have my family, I have my kids, I have my wife, and I love them more than anything. And I, 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 like, if you knew me personally and you knew the job I was taking on right now, the things that I'm doing for them, you will be like, yeah, he loves his family. But... If you gave me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, know, like, if it, like if you told me, hey, you have a week back living in your prime in the 90s, but you got to give a, a week of your life going forward, I would probably most likely do it, bro. That's how good that time was, man. That's how good that time was, bro. I'm not, I'm not bullshitting you. Uh, so yeah, man, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's just a, you know, an introspective type of video, thought provoking type of video. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my subscribers are from that time or growing up in that time. Some of them are a little bit younger than me. So that time for them was a little bit more blurry, but you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, I, I just felt like I, I needed to get on here and uh, say that, bro, because, um, uh, you know, all the shit that's going on today, the shit that we got today, movies today are shit, fashion today, bro, nigga, please, uh, you, know, you know, fucking sports today, oh my god, dude, uh, you know, dude's going down the lane for a layup, you can't touch him, you know what I'm saying, like, quarterback is throwing a pass, and the linebacker, I guess they're ready to sack him, he's got to let up, he can't touch him, because of player safety, it's like, yo, like, we didn't have none of that shit in the 90s, we just did it. You know what I'm saying? And it was great. And it created dynasties. And it created great fucking movies. It created great fucking games. Like, what are we doing? Like, 
Why are we devolving? Why are we pussifying this shit? And pussifying or, or, or pussyfooting around the fact that, like, yo, like, dude, we used to do this shit. Now we're going to be like, no, it's dangerous. Can't do it. Ah, eh, money. Right, whatever, man. You know, so that that that's that's the video, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, man. Uh, this R to the double E dash to the Z-O-N coming at you once again. Uh, and I just thought I had to get on here and talk about some shit different, bro. Uh, other than the usual video game shit that we do, which is coming back. Trust me, bro. There's a lot of shit I got to talk about in the video game sphere. But that will be it, man. God bless y'all. Stay gaming. R to the double E dash to the Z. You know what it is. I am he.